Welcome, everyone, to the ultimate game in the college football season. Everything has built to this. The battle for the national championship and college football immortality. A moment that every young football player grows up dreaming about. And it almost feels like we were destined to get to this point. The top two seeds of the college football playoff have survived. They've been on a collision course all season long. They've come through the challenges and the distractions. And now they'll fight for that beautiful trophy. As we'll see the number two seed in this playoff, the Mississippi State Bulldogs. Taking on a team from the ACC, the Stanford Cardinals. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler. Joined as always by Kirk Kerbstreet. And this is it. Two teams enter. One team leaves here as national champion. Snags a quick throw. They're finally able to stop him. The quarterback brings the big man down. Not easy to do with that size difference. Chris, it's a great game, but I'm always so impressed with the offensive line because they sell this as much as anything. The quarterback's making the read, trying to figure out if the defense is committed to the run or the pass, and then he's going to go the other direction. He makes the right throw here out, and he runs it in for the score. Touchdown, Mississippi State. Well, no surprise from offense this good. Short field, quick touchdown. Yeah, you get into the red zone, though, there's a tendency to want to get conservative. I love that the offensive coordinator and the quarterback kept attacking until they came away with seven points. Begin with a quick throw to the left. To get him down quickly, not much of a gain on that completion. Second down after that previous play. How about this defense? That is called team pursuit. Swarming to this wide receiver on the screen, not allowing him to get his momentum upfield. So the offense getting set. This is not where you want to be against this defense. Third and long. Dropping back. We're going to throw for the first down. Looking for his big tight end. And he's got his man open downfield. And a big game down near the 29 yard threatening. Mississippi State getting set for the first and 10 now. The defense is spread all over the field, creating some one on one matchups, and the quarterback makes them pay for it. Tackle made after a nice pickup on the play. You guys up front lined up. It's first down. They'll run it here. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Things just appear to be a bit out of sync from the get-go on that one. Give credit to the front seven of that defense for staying in the proper lanes and getting to the ball carrier, not let him dance around and make something out of nothing. Brought down, but the completion moves the ball to the six. Defense getting pushed back. You talk about balance as a play caller. I don't know if it gets much better than what this offense is doing. Three runs. And he'll make it in for the score. Touchdown, Bulldogs. I think we're starting to kind of see a theme here, Chris, today. That's his second touchdown. The offensive line doing their job, and he's doing an outstanding job of just reading the defense, finding the hole, and being able to pick up big yards and touchdown. Quarterback pulls the ball. It's a keeper. He moves the ball across the 20 to the 22. Okay, Offense ready. coming to the line. They might have a chance for a couple more plays before we reach the end of the quarter. They're going to run the option. He'll pitch it. 
They make the tackle, but enough for a first down. Textbook execution on the option. So it's Mississippi State on top so far. We've reached the end of one in this battle for the national championship. Before moving on, let's check out the stats so far. Crucial stage of the game as we begin the second quarter. Is this one going to get out of hand? New center down to the offense, first and ten. And now the handoff. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. That back just had nowhere to go. Got to give credit to the defense and their run fits on that throw. Getting set. Here's second down. We go with the ground game here. Running back takes the handoff. And the runner brought down right at the 38 yard line. You know, in the RPO game, the quarterback's got to make really sound decisions on that read. Either give it when it's the right time, or you pull it out and make the throw. Here, I think he's kind of in that gray area, decides to hand it off, and at least picked up some positive yards. Defense stops him short of the marker, so now it's fourth down. as they run the counter play. Teams are getting more and more creative with how they run their counter plays. Gone are the days of everyone under center running the counter tray. Now you're seeing it modernized. We'll see how many different versions they'll run today. And he's brought down, but he does have enough for the first down. You know, offense linemen are just a certain breed. They're always going to do their job, no matter who's back there carrying the ball. I'll tell you what. They have a little bit more confidence when the person that's carrying the ball can break off some big-time runs. That makes him block just a little bit harder knowing what he's potentially capable of doing. Finally brought down, but the offense moving close to the red zone here. Man, this quarterback can play the game. He can throw, and as we see here, he can run the football. The defense does everything that they need to with the pressure they look like they're in good position to be able to come up with a nice play on him, but instead, he shows how he can slip out of the back door of this defense and pick up a nice game. So after the incompletion, it's second down. And he'll loft it to the end zone. Oh, and it's batted down by the defense. Great play to deny a touchdown. Now it's third and short from the 21. Defense trying to make a stand here and prevent a touchdown. And it's intercepted. Can he take it all the way? Look at him run through those tacklers. That's a pick and a long return before finally being taken down. That offensive court. First play of the drive, they come out throwing. Using his legs on the scramble. Quarterback gets down to avoid the big hit. Fresh center down to the offense. First down. Off the play fake. Looking to throw. Looking to scramble. Oh, a sack. The senior on this defense making a big play. The sack sets up second down. Quarterback drops back. We're going to test the secondary. And the protection breaks down yet again another sack. Timeout is called to talk strategy late in this close game with halftime approaching. So the offense looking to be efficient here. Not much time remaining before the end of the half. Breaks one tackle, gets brought down, but picks up some decent yardage. So a timeout is called to talk strategy. Maybe time for one or two more plays before halftime. Looking to throw it on first down. Airing this one out toward the sideline. And it falls incomplete. They've tried for a big chunk play on the final play of the period. Meadows going to wrap up the first half here. Let's kick it down to Kevin Connors with our halftime update. Chris, thanks. What else might we expect in a game of this magnitude? Everything on the line. The eyes of the
the sports world on this battle with the coveted gold trophy at stake. And I get it. A lot of coaches will say the difference between winning and losing comes down to stopping big plays and getting big plays. But if you ask me, it's more about how good you are on third down and how efficient you are in keeping drives alive. start the third quarter here on the ground hat on a hat up front good job of opening up the holes anytime you can get positive yards on first down that's a win second down after that run on the previous play pre-snap motion from the receiver fakes the handoff looking to throw he's running out of time here a throw away there. Gave up on the play. But now it's going to bring up third down. We'll see if the offense can move the chain to stop that incompletion. On third down, he drops to throw. Lofting it toward the left sideline. That's incomplete. They weren't afraid to let it fly, but it brings up a fourth down. Oh, they come close. There's the handoff. He shreds the tackle. Well, I would just stick with this RPO. That's a really solid game, and it's plays like this that eventually make that defense collapse down. Then you can pull and hit a big play through the air to your receiver. Quarterback keeps the football. Heads out of bounds after a solid game. More than enough to pick up a first down. The offense threatening close to the goal line with a new set of downs. Quick pass. Here comes a jet sweep. And he'll get there. Touchdown, Mississippi State. Well, they began with great field position, and that didn't take long at all. But that's how you take advantage of an opportunity. Your defense sets you up in great field position. is handed off out of the shotgun. They stop him after a six-yard game. So second and four. Quarterback still with the football. Take it now, but not before he makes the first down. Man, is he pretty to watch run this option. He is so dangerous with the threat to run or to throw. This time he keeps it himself, and you can see how much ground he eats up with that kind of speed. Touchdown, Bulldogs. Still no answer for this offensive machine. Chris, you think this guy, when he went to bed last night at the team hotel, thought he would score not one, not two, but three rushing touchdowns in one game. What a day. Keeping it on the ground here. Oh, the defense has him behind the line of tackle for loss, and that'll do it for the third quarter. So it's Mississippi State on top so far. Kirk. So three quarters complete in this battle to crown a national championship. Before moving on, let's check out the game summary so far. So one final quarter to play. It's going to take a lot to turn this game around, but strange things do happen in college football. Short loss on the play sets up second and long from the 18. Quarterback drops back, probing the secondary. And that deep shot is caught for a big game. Touchdown, Mississippi State. And the beatdown continues. Well, this is how you start to get rolling. That's two touchdowns so far. And the more he gets fed, the more often he's going to cash in.
time is set. Jack Rabbit. It's a quarterback keeper. A solid eight-yard gain brings up a second and two. Well, how fitting for him to get another nice carry here because it's been that kind of game in the national title. We knew coming in that he was going to be showcased. I didn't think he would have this kind of performance on this big of a stage, but he has, and a big reason why they're going to win this national title. That's a nice tackle there by the senior. And that jet sweep action puts so much pressure on a defense. You get so locked in on the ball attacking you downhill. But when offenses sprinkle this kind of offense in, it stretches this defense out wide and can create some vertical seams for big plays. Mississippi State getting set for the first and 10 now. From the shotgun, drops back. He'll avoid the sack, but is brought down after a short game. Now it's second down here. Off play action, he's looking to throw. He's escaping the pocket now. He throws it away, a smart choice that time. Right, it will bring up third down. Man, the defense took everything away from him. What do you expect him to do? He can't force the ball into traffic and potentially throw the interception. Does a good job of getting out of the pocket, away from the pressure, and just throw the ball away. See what happens on this next down. Trying to create outside the pocket now. Got space looking for the end zone here. Touchdown, Bulldogs. Stretching the lead. This one is getting ugly. Boy, they just continue to do everything right. This offense has looked outstanding from the opening series all the way up to this point. Doing everything that's asked of them. Great execution. And put another touchdown up on the board. It here. It's a fumble. And the defense jumps on the football. Oh my gosh, I can't believe the one thing they couldn't do, they just did. Put Got it. And they're moving the receiver now before the snap. They'll work the clock here with the running game. Picks up three yards, so second and seven. Christina, the sweat era over the years has always grown offensively, but I've been always impressed with it. Defenses that really build their defense to play in space still have an ability to be sound at the line of scrimmage and defend a running game. It's exactly what we saw right there. Crucial okay. third down play coming up after that run. Under, under, under. Pre-snap motion from the offense. They flip it to him on the jet sweep. Zero running room. Stopped right with the line of scrimmage. How about this? The offense gets the ball to one of their playmakers out in space. What an emphatic statement to close out this national championship run. You know, the coach told his guys, go out there and leave no doubt. It's a mission accomplished. Well, sometimes a team wins a national championship and they just got hot at the right time. I and mean, there's other times when it's been clearly the best team in college football all year. To me, these guys have been right up there as the top team in college football. And it's very fitting that they not only win it, but they win it in grand fashion. Well, that's it. Dramatic punctuation to another outstanding season of college football. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Chris Fowler, and this has been a presentation of EA Sports College Football. They are official. Your kings of college football and national champions, the Mississippi State Bulldogs.